Call so this, I was they're bull. They're usually not that close in the house. Okay. You need to see, you need to see what happens in the proximity of here. Yeah, that's what, that was the next thing that I'm going to say. But really quickly with you, so he thinks he's a lap dog. Man, he's beautiful. So he went up to you. Uh, does he do that typically where he like kind of side straddles you? Yeah, see, it was her actually. Yeah, she likes to ride with me. And That's I awesome. think, I think in my present, she doesn't mind hanging around. Okay. But if it comes to getting attention first, right. For this, I was born. My name is Erwin Valderamos, and I'm the dog messiah, lover of dogs and persons. Watch, I show For you. For this, I came into the world. <laughs> Good, good, good. Do you want to see something happen? Yep. When I hear a growl, do you want me just to let it go and not interfere? I want you to, no, I want you to behave the way you normally behave. Okay. Because that way I know how to ask you to change it or okay. encourage it or yes. dissuade you from doing what you've been doing. So, there, okay. here you go. There, here's the hierarchy right there. Okay. And she, she claims care. I, okay. I might not be here, but... But so, why don't you sit down and, and see what happens? Because now she's gone to dad. They fight okay. over you too. That's, that's normal. Okay. Okay, so then I usually kind of sit here or whatever. Okay. Now. Where are both? So the other two are over there? was out, and if, okay. if Mizzle stays there, then these two will come in. Okay, so Koi will be there. Yeah. But okay. what, so what happens with my brother right now that I have noticed okay. is Koi will come and she will claim my brother. Okay. Can we, she yeah. will lay on his feet. Yeah. She's fond of you. By his yeah. feet. Come here, Koi. Koi, come. Koi, come here. Come here. Come, 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 come. Come, come see. Sometimes she's a bit scared to come because Lisa yeah. was here. Okay. And then if he tries to make his way in, some yes, then she will let a little at, at him. At him. Koi will snarl or growl or yes. let out some kind of protest. Yes. Okay. And then if we we've learned to deflect. Okay. But if we didn't know the signs that we okay. picked up on it, then there would be a her pinning him on the ground. You've seen that happen? Yes. Okay. And he is very, he's been pinned on the ground by both females. Okay, bless his heart. He doesn't, he, he doesn't, doesn't fight back. back, but like you said, we think that he's yeah. not the brightest, the, the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, it, he doesn't have his short term memory. It, yeah. He well, will walk right by them again and not be fearful. Well, it's because, you know, he, number one, he's probably courageous. And then number two, he's probably choosing not to act, which I wouldn't say is the, it's the greater sign of power, you yeah? know? So I, I, I don't know that that's necessarily him not putting two and two together. I just feel like he doesn't really take it too seriously, what they're doing. If they pin him down, it doesn't, it's not working he just for him. He just like side-eyed her. Yeah. I know. He, he's, he's somewhat worried that, that he's here, that she's, he's this close to her. Okay. Okay. With, with Mom, would you sit next to brother then maybe? And let's see what happens, please. There. Yeah, I heard it. Yep. There, there and, it was. and he's gone. Now it's gone. Okay. Come here, baby. Come on. Now it's come gone. see me. Come on. He will come. No, no, she's gonna move. Yeah, she's over. gonna move. She's gonna move oh. now. No, you don't. She's, she's gonna like go. Oh. No, ma'am. I can feel it. She's yeah, texting I can feel up it too. And, and she changes. Absolutely yeah. not. The climate no. changes. Yeah. Yeah. You I lie down. Feel it. Yeah. Lie down. And it could yeah. be. It down. Could be her energy Thank too. you. Okay. Thank you. Not my, nice. Now it might not happen. Now not that, nice. Be, now that it's been caught. Okay. So let's see. Let's but try to bring him in, in now. Yeah. Come on, come back to me. He's a gentleman. I don't know that he would be the same if that was a male dog or the other was a male dog. No, he's he, he's he doesn't want to. Come yeah. Don't yeah. you dare. Go ahead. Will you? Do you mind using a little force to pull him over? Or? Come. Yeah. Even the treat's not high value enough for him. No. Come on. Yeah. He doesn't. Come on. On second thought, he said he was a need to calories. I said, no, he's looking at her. Calories he's are not looking. worth it. Ah. Growl again. Again. No. Growl no, again. No, ma'am. But I am also here because Lizzo is a problem, yes? Yes. But it's... Lizzo does the exact same thing to her. Now, she's low, mat, low on the totem pole. Okay. Lizzo does this. That's so Lizzo not. does that to him? Lizzo doesn't give the warning. That is a warning okay. to me. Yes. Right? It, that gives me yeah. warning. Lizzo does not. Lizzo's warning is the way that she looks, the body language, and then she, she is up. gone. Yes. And then so does Lizzo do that to him? She's done it to him a couple so times. Not often? Lunges more. More to her. Okay. See, it might be that Lizzo is doing it preemptively, thinking if I don't 
show, kind of like prison gang mentality, walking into the prison, showing everybody yeah. your test yeah. before they have a chance to check you. Yeah. Yeah. So it might be that Lizzo is preemptively, okay. you know, on the offense to let her know you're not going to do that shit you do with, because she's Correct. probably seen her do it to Atlas. Yeah. You know, and, yes. and, and witnessed it, and she's like, you're not going to do that shit to me. Right. So um, that, and oh, this Lizzo too is, um, when she did, I completely okay. Let's Lizzo. see if we can get him back over there. Maybe that'll jog your memory, yes? No, Lizzo does not uh, give any warning. Lizzo can will, will just go jump can. street right on. Come. Okay. Come, come, jump come. him. Come. He doesn't want it. Come. No, he doesn't want to. Come on. Yeah, he's even trying to like. She just his. grabbed. Him. Yeah. Did you serious? She just. Uh, uh. You need to stop. Okay. I'm not petting her at this time. Now, right. if I pet her, then yeah. then, then she's. So she's, I'm gonna she's, say. I'm giving her attention. She's not too bad. This behavior okay. has gotten worse. Okay. In the two weeks, since I, since I it, it, he, we've noticed okay. the changes since he's been here and how okay. it's gotten a little bit worse. Now he... Do, do you have a leash handy by chance? I do. So while you're telling me what you're saying, I'd like for you to, if you have to use the leash, come around this way with him and I want to get them close to one another. I don't know if it's me or if it's mm -hmm. beautiful. Yeah, that's a beautiful yep. See, now, now she's looking. Yeah. Come, 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 come. See? Yeah, Guarding. Okay, but she's not like that with that other bed in the other room. If he approaches that other bed, he's not. She's not reacting like that. Um, she will probably. She might do that. Okay. Well, then let's keep the here. Will you come in and sit down over here next to? Yeah. So but go out back the, the other way, please. Okay. The way come, that you came. Come, 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 come. Good. See. Oh boy. Yep. I don't think I. I don't know if I'm yeah. part of this, but see, guarding. Okay. Will you bring? Will you come and have a seat next to brother again, please? Come. Okay, right there. Go ahead and take the see? leash off of him, please. See, see, see. Good boy. You can hold him in place. Hold him in place. Can... So grab him by the car, ideally. Sit. There you go. Yeah, she, she's trying to dominate the house. Okay, here, okay. down. Down. Good, down. Good. Okay, perfect. So I think when you made her lay down, because her eyes are hidden supposedly potentially rather he did kind of turn his way a little bit towards you will you grab him by the collar and pull him closer to you so that's perfect good job good okay stop petting her please but keep petting him yeah so you see she's like pawing at you mm -hmm. but to me i always found that that was Lucci was the same way yeah and don't don't stop petting me yeah. come here come good 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 okay come here Sit. Okay, very good. Go ahead and let them make it. You can let them alone. Okay. And now unless they react or something, then I'm just going to start going over what we could sit, beloved. What we need to do to get them started. Yes. Yeah? For not only for their next class, but also the boarding that they're going to end up doing with me simultaneously. So we'll go over that. So very, again, before I go into this, I'm going to nitpick because you've done a fantastic job handling both all three of the dogs. I think had they been with a lesser knowledgeable family, they'd be a lot worse mm -hmm. so there so you've done a very good job overall yes so a couple of the things that we want to do is for until we meet again and until i give you until i tell you otherwise please we need to drop all the commands okay so not telling them sit not telling them stay not okay. telling them come inside not telling them to lay down not not none of that now you can force it upon them Okay. So if you want them to lay down, just make them I, lay down without telling them, okay. without issuing the command, but praising them as you're pushing, putting them down. Okay. So if you're grabbing one paw at a time, as you grab that paw and move it, and they slide down, you say good down, and then when they finally lay down, you say good down. Okay. The other thing, what I want you to do is, so this is what I call the good word theory. The good mm -hmm. word theory is a way that we're going to associate and build the vocabulary and actions. Mm -hmm. So from now on, for the next at least few days, whenever you see them do a behavior that we want to train with, that would be a good behavior to have a command associated to them to build the vocabulary. Whenever you see, like for example, if you happen to see one of them sit, I want you to look at them and say, good sit. Mm -hmm. And if you're able to, if your hands are free and you're able to, and you have the desire to, if they sit, the moment that they sit, you say good sit, then start walking up to them to pet them under the chin. 
if they stay sad, I want you to keep petting them under the chin and saying, good stay, good stay, mm -hmm. good sit stay, as you're petting them under the chin. I haven't seen you guys necessarily pet them on top of the head. Don't pet them on top of the head. Okay. Petting a dog on top of the head while you're talking to them <laughs> makes them think that they shouldn't make any eye contact with you when you're talking. Okay. So we want to do the opposite. Okay. We want to pet under the chin. If they sit and you say, good sit, which is acknowledgement and affection for a behavior that they do so you're associating that word and you start to make trek towards them and they rise then you just lose interest and walk away they're not in trouble they haven't done anything wrong okay you've just been turned off okay. ignoring is the punishment kind of a punishment but it's 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 ignoring or and, and the lack of observation okay. doesn't create okay. right so observation creates in this situation okay. And I tell you the truth. So earlier when I got here and I was standing outside and you have a video of it and they were going at one another, the the entire, and you didn't do a lot of this, but every time that you spoke to them or told them, no, stop, or did whatever, or, or addressed them or yeah. even looked at them, yeah. you were encouraging that behavior. Okay. And I tell you that in some dogs, it can come across as a sign of weakness. No different than if you had a little ankle biter here, a little right. chihuahua or something. Yeah. And they were fussing and they were frustrated what is that little chihuahua or little ankle biter going to do yeah. going to bark mm -hmm. the dog is barking because it doesn't feel strong enough to be physical do you see what i yeah. mean so one of the ways that you're going to actually make them understand that they should not be vying for the presidency because you're already the president is by being more physical and being silent so moving in the silence dogs respect silence okay so i'll tell you something yes i know this with my, with my own kennel all my years of experience if I have a dog that comes in, and when that dog comes in, it goes into the kennel and it's barking because it's scared or it's stressed out and it's barking, all it takes longer for that dog to be accepted by those other dogs because all of those other dogs are gonna to wanna to bully him. Okay. Because he's barking. Because he's barking, so they think he's a, a weak punk, all right? So, but if I have a dog come in and that dog comes in and they're just like very quiet, mm -hmm. but like almost like that self-assured quietness and they walk in their kennel and they're in there and they're just absorbing everything and they're quiet, Dogs don't bully that dog. Okay. Go ahead. So, this dog mm -hmm. is more silent. Okay. I feel he has more confidence than this dog. Yes, I agree with you. Then this dog mm -hmm. is barky, jumpy. That's why I said that it's maybe not that he's not super smart. He's just being discreet because he knows he doesn't have anything to prove. Maybe. I think he maybe feels like if not today, the day is coming and he's King David to their Goliath. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He, only I mean, a matter of time before only he Only a matter of time. He knows. And she, I don't yeah, think so, she knows. I think no. she's the least confident. Right. She barked at you the most. And the thing is that, so, like my dog Esau is a lot like this, yes. So he, um, a lot of times he'll, and male dogs typically will accept more from a female dog because they want to be in her good graces for when she comes into heat. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to be liked by her, so they're yeah. chosen, so to speak, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with a male dog, they know that that breeding time is never going to come, so they don't put up with as much. Like I'm saying to you, if either of these other two dogs were males, I don't know that he would be as calm. Docile, as... I don't think, yeah, his docile okay. is a good word. I don't think he would be, okay? okay? I think he is very strong. He doesn't seem to be uh, scared or nervous. No. He is just being deferred, but may I tell you, I think that the nervousness and the i think the discretion is nervousness is more towards getting on your bad side him exactly Being he just doesn't yeah he just doesn't want to be involved in the drama with you it yeah. doesn't seem like it yeah right so i think that like in these situations whenever you're trying to get him to go close and i might be wrong and you know he wants i will tell you in the future yeah because he doesn't want to he, he's a mama's boy he doesn't want to get in trouble yeah, he doesn't want, he wants he to be in your good graces. So it may not be that, well, because if, if an attack happens, he feels like if he, if he defends himself, mom's going to get upset. Yeah. And she probably is. Because she gets upset at the other ones. Exactly. So he's yes. seeing all of this. Yes. So he's likely just thinking, you know what, it's not worth getting on her bad side. So he's because the he's kind of a, one of them all. He likely is. Yeah. He, he's using this, you know, he's being discreet. And the one that seems intelligent is the most insecure. Exactly. Yes. And you know, a lot of times people, this is true with people, but people get angry when they, for whatever reason, are unable to voice what is bothering them. Sure, sure. It pisses them off, so yeah. they want to break something. Do you know what I mean? So I think that a lot of it might be that he is being cautious and throwing caution to the wind simply because 
he doesn't want to be involved with mom scolding him. And it's not even that he's afraid of you, Karen. It's just he just a mama's boy. He yeah. loves you. Yeah. yeah. And he's more emotionally sensitive. And he might seem physically sensitive to your touch because he is emotionally sensitive. But he's a that's a lot of dog right there. He can run into the fence and probably be okay. Uh, you know, he, yeah. can take, he, can, he can take a licking. Yes. Yeah? yeah. For sure. So, and these other ones can too. But I would imagine that. They won't be able to take the licking he's going to be able to take as he's older and right. he he's aware of that so i might be wrong about that but that's my first initial impression so like i was saying i want to no focus on no more commands so not even calling them inside and the other thing please i know how you know you've been using that bowl so we have to stop that there's a reason for this okay yeah. the problem with the bowl is that that sound now has become a classical conditioning yeah, sound yeah. right so some trainers will use the word yes some trainers will use a clicker mm -hmm. We're going to use the word W O W. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And you're gonna hold off until the next class before you start doing okay. this, yes? So what I want you to do is very simple though. If you're going to give them a treat for whatever reason, I don't want any commands issued. Okay. I just want you to hold the treat and whenever they walk up to you, whoever dog whatever dog sits first, you're going to say, Wow. And only if you have a treat. You never say the word wow if you do not have a treat okay. in your hands to follow up with immediately. This is only when you have a treat on you. You're gonna say wow and give that dog the peace as you say good sit. Okay. If one of the other dogs tries to bully or get into the way, mm -hmm. if you're, and you have to tell me if you're uncomfortable with this, right? What I would like for you to do ideally mm -hmm. is you're going to snatch that dog underneath the chin yeah. on, on their collar. Okay. And then when you snatch them, you're going to, do, with the best that you can, push them out of the way. Okay. Like, like pushing them out of the way. Mm -hmm. And if you need to, you can push out of the way as you need. So you're going to, for lack of a better term, you're going to act like the alpha dog. Yeah. That's what the alpha dog will do. And fortunately, mm -hmm. giving them treats, we have not encountered any kind okay. of issue. No Perfect. issue with, with feeding time Perfect. yet. Okay. Or breakfast time when they all have their banana together okay. in the back. Okay. Awesome. No issue of that. Perfect. Yeah. So then this is the other thing, yes? If during that time when you're handing out a treat, if the other two are there, and after 30 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, they fail to sit, uh -huh. you put the treat away. Okay, all right. Very simple, you don't give it to them. So you're not expecting anything of them. You're not asking anything of them because we're going to teach them that your word is not going to come back to you empty, right? But I have one of the mistakes that you guys have been making and understand, so even trainers make this mistake. The canine academy that I went to told me to make this mistake and I listened for a while. If you tell a dog to sit and then you tell them sit, sit or down, 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 then they're, you're conditioning them that it doesn't matter the first time you say it. Okay. So there, there, so it has to be understood that when I say something, it has to happen right then and there. Otherwise, and if you do happen to slip and tell them to sit, if they don't immediately start going to the act of sitting, you force them into the sit. Right. Do you see what I mean? And what I mean by forcing, you don't have to be mean. You can be just very matter of fact. And I just don't want to repeat myself. Exactly. Yeah. The next thing that I want you to start doing, again, petting under the chin, is whenever, this is so important, right? It has to start with you, ideally can go off into the children. Mm -hmm. The faster the children pick this up, the faster we get to the promised land, okay. okay? But basically, whenever they approach you, if you're going to engage them, what I want you to do is I want you to, so very clearly, look at them. So you're gonna make a gesture with your head like you're gonna look down. So you know how some trainers will teach a dog on the weekend too, and like this is sit or this yeah, is sit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you the truth. There's no reason why a head nod can't be the word sit. Yes, yeah. And I've had the great pleasure of training dogs for like quadriplegics, paraplegics, and the head nod becomes the okay. command for sit. Okay. So the way you're going to accomplish this is whenever the dogs walk up to you, you're going to very, you know, very obviously look down at them. And the moment that you look down at them, you're going to stick your left hand out and start petting them kind of under the chin as you're kind of grabbing their collar. Uh -huh or your right hand, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. So I would personally do it with my right hand. I'm gonna pet them with my right hand, and as I'm petting under the collar, I'm going to push their butt down okay. into the sit, and I'm going to tell them to sit. Okay. No, I'm not going to tell them to sit, rather. I'm going to say, good sit, when they've allowed my pressure to force them into it. Okay. So the, the moral of the story today, the lesson plan for the next few days is, you're going to force your will upon them. Okay. And that's going to be a quiet will. Now, They're if- Exactly. So if they walk up to you and you pet them without putting them into the sit, you're making a mistake. Okay. So if you they walk up to you and then event, in no time at all, when they walk up to you and they see you glance down at them, my dogs do this. They're going to go into a sit. Okay. So quickly. 
Now the next part of that is, when you start petting them under the chin, you're going to tell them good sit, good sit, stay, good sit, good sit, stay, over and over. The moment they get up, you, Jacqueline, you stop, you go away. So you don't, yes sir. Any free pets? When do you free pet? No, no free petting for now. No more free petting. Keep in mind, you have to take on the training mentality. No gratuitous petting right now. No, and we're doing therapy. Yep. Right, so. Th so those are extra calories that we don't need so what to turn this relationship down. When the down. boys will come here, mm -hmm. they walk by, they see a dog sitting here, rrr, 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 pet, pet the dog, and the dog is sitting here. Okay. Just like this. That's, that's, a, that's a gratuitous that's, So It is, but you're going to have to just teach the kids that, and that's going to take time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So in a little okay. while, you'll be able to. Right now, you just Exactly. Yeah. And yep. if the kids come in and start petting one, and then one of the others comes in, then guess what? And you as the alpha have to get up, grab, and pull out of the situation. Ideally. So she, Karen's petting him. Yep. She comes in. Well, let's say the kids. One of the kids comes oh. over and starts petting her. Yeah, yeah. if he yeah. gets up. If he gets up and he and you know he's getting up because he wants to be included in the petting session. No, no, you block him. Okay. So you come and you either use your knee to push him back. And as you're pushing, so you can, ideally you would use your knee to like, you know, yeah, get him to, to, to scoot him back. As he's backing up, you say, good, back up. Okay. Or good space. Okay. No Do you treat. understand what I mean? No, no treat. Okay. Okay. No, because then guess what? Then you're going to teach them that if they walk towards you and back up, they get a treat. Yeah. Okay. So now you start getting manipulated. Gotcha. Okay. Do you understand yeah, like what I mean? Going yeah. In yeah. Outside. yeah, no, none of that. <laughs> so dog starts making trek over there to where the petting is happening. Yeah. You get up and you block them. This is what a dominant alpha dog would do. Okay. Which is what Lizzo does. Especially, and may I tell you, especially if it's the alpha female's puppies. No dog is going to walk right up to those puppies and just do whatever they want to them unless they have permission. Okay. Do you understand what I mean? So that's how you have to behave okay. with each one of them. And then once this one gets enough of the petting, if the children desire or want to go and pet the other one, then they can. But ideally, the children walk up to the other one and not call him. So the other thing that you guys have to get out of the habit of is calling them. So how do I get them to come in the house? Okay, so you're going to start saying good, the word good often. So you have to drop everything out of your vocabulary, including the word no, and you're going to start chanting and saying the word good. So like so, how we used to do with Luchi, good, 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 and he exactly. would come okay. So you're going to just open the door when you're ready for them to come in and start saying good, good, good. And the moment one of them comes in, lavish that one with praise. Okay. Put them in the sit, lavish them with praise so that, guess what? The other two out of jealousy mm -hmm. run inside. He's the first enemy to work. These other two are jealous. Exactly. Now, may I tell you, a good thing to do would be to have get a couple of treats before you open. Three treats or so, or one treat you're going to break before you open the door. Yes. Once you open the door, you start chanting, good, 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 good. Now, listen, when you chant the call, good, 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 good. If they're going in the opposite direction, stop chanting because yeah. now you're praising them for right. going away right. from you. Yes. Okay. When they start coming towards you, you say, good inside, good, 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 good inside. So can I call, I can call their name to get attention. I would not. You would not. Okay. No, listen, but if, if, so if I were to take out. them with me today and uh -huh. they stayed with me for five months straight, you wouldn't have to do any classes. That's how they would come back. Yeah. You would say, good, 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 and all of them are going to run inside. Okay. Do you understand what I mean? Yep. And then if I do only want one to come inside, then I would say, Fido, good. And the other ones would realize they're not supposed to come inside. Okay. Okay? But this is what I was saying. When, if you get a treat, load up a treat before, and you go to the door and you open the door, and I would recommend that you do this every time for now. You open the treat, and you grab a treat, you open the door, you start chanting, good, good, good. The first one comes in. The moment that one comes in, you know, foot goes through the threshold, wow, and give them the treat. Okay. If I were you, I would go and buy some treats or make some, but they ideally need like some liver treats, a treat that is just small enough. Can I give them hot dogs? You may. Those are delicious. Hot dogs, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are delicious. <laughs> I can yeah. raw hot dog just kind of You, you can, okay. but keep in mind that the problem with a hot dog is going to be, you know, it's going to be hard to leave them out. Yeah, 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 so yeah, I would yeah, make yeah. a pile. Yeah, so okay. the thing about the chewy, like- Like the, the cat treats? So yeah, they make them for like dogs. Pieces of licorice. They are. Okay. So, and I'll send you. A, I'll send you a link to the ones okay. I use. I use Bill Jack ones, but you can get whatever kind. But they have to be gooey and small enough to be eaten in one gulp. So they're like, "Thank you, mommy. I have another." Yeah. Okay. So if you give them so treats, biscuits, and stuff, there's nothing wrong with those. They have their place in training. If I toss it in there for the dogs to go into the crate, that's a perfect use right. for that one. Okay. But when you're trying to create a classical conditioning sound. 
They need something that is quick where they're ready for the next one. Okay. So you, every time one of the dogs comes in, the moment their paw goes past the threshold, you say, wow, and you don't ask them to sit or anything. You say, wow, and you immediately give them the treat as you say, good inside. Okay. okay. Whenever you see them go on the bed, good bed. Right. Good sit, good down. Good sit, exactly. Yep. If they get on the bed, good bed sit if you see them sit. Good bed down if they let down, okay? Okay. If they get on the couch, I don't even want you to say the word no. I just want you to walk over there, grab them by the collar, and pull them off. Oh, well, they're the, she's getting the point now. When she sees me get up, she looks and she jumps off. So okay. she knows I'm coming for Good, her. good news. And yeah. guess what I'm going to recommend there? Uh-huh. Walk up to her and shove her with your knee. Okay. Don't let her buy her way out of the punishment. Okay. She's manipulating you. Okay. Do you so see what I mean? So when she gets down, still shove her with the Hell yeah, okay. well, she made the mistake. Like, no, still get down. Yeah, there. no, okay. yeah, you've made a mistake. And you do not want to say the word off because off implies that you're allowed to do this. This is just not the right time for it. Okay. So if they're not allowed to do it, the word is going to be no, but you don't want to use the word no this week. Okay. okay. You want to be physical. So you want to lead by physical example. Okay. And I tell you the truth, part of the reason you've had more success than I think another owner would have been is because you are physical with them. Yes. Yes? Yeah. To a degree. Yeah. But you know, earlier you made a very kind comment. You said, I don't want to drag you, but I guess I'm going to, you know, have to or whatever. I'm going to. Like, I don't want to, but I will. If you don't do, it. Me, I'll do it. Just like do it. Me. You grab like, them like, and you drag them, right? You, like, you get a warning. Yeah. You grab them and you do it. Do you yeah. see what I mean? Very, yeah. very. There's no getting, no getting around it. Yo, and that's like when, okay. they, when they get in their arguments and okay. we get a hold of one, I'm okay. grabbing and they're paused. And some of them will, sometimes okay. will, but that's why I got Lizzo a okay. kennel because she doesn't have her own kennel okay. yet. I had to put her in hers. Okay. I don't think that's fair, Okay. but I drug her and if she was, and I was pulling her across yeah. and I was like, you're absolutely not going to yeah. win this. I shoved her in that kennel. That's what so, I would do. Yeah. I would put her in there and I tell you the truth. People might not like that I'm going to say this, but you got to say this in this situation. As she goes in, go ahead and tap that ass with your foot a little bit. Okay. You're not trying to, listen, they're big. You're not yeah, trying to hurt them. They just have to understand. Please be careful with the testicles. No, I need it. I need it. Have a ball. <laughs> no, but pop. Yeah. So there has to be a repercussion because, again, dogs are physical and they understand punishment through a physical nature. Okay. And that's how they're going to realize your strength. I think he already, I think he feels like you're capable and, and that you're hold back your punches, so to speak. But I don't think they do. I think that they think you're too weak to run to be the boss. They're, I think they're like my okay. children. And when I get really mad and then I yell, yep. then they get scared. Yeah. So see, that's the problem. That's what yeah. <laughs> you, yes, it's true. No, yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah. I had, you know I've had so. Explained, you've explained your younger, your yeah. Younger child. Well, it, yeah. even me with employees, you know, I've gone through a lot of employees yeah. simply because I'm like, dude, unless I come in here and be in a bad mood and yell, nothing's getting done. So you yeah. can't, you can't, you're not self-governed. You can't sit around. <laughs> yeah. Very simple. So do you understand what I mean yeah, by yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. So, and if a, an argument does break out, then. In a perfect world, you wouldn't say the word no, you just react quickly, just like a dominant aggressive dog. But if you feel you need to, it's okay to say the word no. I think no is just a reaction. Like either that or it's like a hey yes. or you know, enough something right. to, to make them get yeah. your you know, get your no. atten yes. their attention. Correct. And then but yeah, I yeah. drag them to the kennel. Well, yeah, that, that's what I would do. Yeah. And then listen, if they're getting into an argument, and again, you have to tell me what you're uncomfortable with. And ideally, the reasons why you're uncomfortable with it. But I'm going to tell you, this is why I don't want them to come with me today. Yeah. Because the things that I'm telling you to do, I'm also going to do. Right. And if I go to do that to them tomorrow, I'm going to break their spirit. I'm going to right. be, they don't have that, they don't love me like right. they love you. Yeah. Do you see, I would even argue that it'd be too early for him to do this with okay. them. Okay. But listen, if they start to get into an argument and, and like a fight and it looks vicious, it's okay to use your foot to shove them out of the way. Okay. So you're not kicking, yeah. but you're shoving right mm -hmm. if you have to say the word no say it because there there will come a time when you will so me if i say the word no around the dogs it's like i dropped the bomb okay <laughs> do you see what i mean yeah. because i don't say it very often okay right the problem with saying no often is that it loses its potency right? and dogs kind of feel like you're crying wolf you okay. had a question or a comment um so right now the, mm -hmm. the attacker dog mm -hmm. is punished Mm -hmm. Put in isolation or whatever. That's what I would do. What do you do with the attacked dog? I would, that's a good question. So yes, and I would, if the dog that started it, mm -hmm. I would grab that dog and go put that dog up. Yep. If one dog started and the other dog retaliated, I would put both, both of them up. up. Okay. Because you know how they say, let go, let God, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're their God. Yeah. Okay. So that, so they have to, they have to exercise 
the discretion that he's exercising. Yes. No I truly salvation. think he's exercising discretion because he loves you. Just doesn't want to be on the bad side. Because I don't think that if they were to get into it right now and I went after him, that he's going to let me. He's going to be like, man, who the hell do you think you are? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If I brought a male dog in here right now, I don't know that he'd put up with it like he does with them. I think it's more just because out of respect for you, like I was saying. So both of them get put up. Okay. The dog that that deferred, so you... You you don't you don't want to you neither want to praise them or acknowledge them. You want to just let it alone as if it didn't happen. The reason for is this. You know how earlier you said that if the kids come over in a situation like this, or he was over here, she was laying down there, she was prone there. You said that she's not grounded right now, and if she starts, if I pet her, you know she'll like get calm or quiet. She might get calm or quiet, but you're encouraging that behavior. So whatever a dog, so whatever behavior emotion, thought, feeling a dog is having, mm-hmm. if you look at them, pet them, or touch them, you're encouraging, awesome. promoting it, awesome. observation awesome. is creating more of that. So, in that situation where when he came in just now and she let a little growl go, what mm-hmm. do I do to stop them? Do I just grab her and, you're and sitting where? take her to the kennel? And you're sitting where? Like if I'm sitting right here yep. just like I was, yep. and he was right there and she let yep. out that little growl, now, do now, I just... Can I show you? Yes. So I'm going to show you with your feet, but this is what I would do at the very least. Kick her. I would just pop real okay. fast. Okay. You, the, again, you have to react. You have, okay. Listen, man, you have children involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there can't be, so you do that and then grab and take her. You don't have to necessarily crater if the, if the infraction wasn't as heavy. Right, They were right. in a full blown fight. But you grab her and you move her away. Okay. And then you shun her. And may I tell you, if you shun a dog and they go to the corner and they're sulking and they're like, oh my God, you're the pain in the whole world. You ignore them. Yes. You don't rebuke them. So if they walk up to you, you don't rebuke them. But as they shot. walk up to you, you I would not. No, I'd pet okay. them under the chin and push their butt down. Okay. So this is one thing. In fact, I think it's your boy Lucci. It is Lucci. I have a video with him, him in Home Depot with me. I'm going to put that video in. I'm unbelievable, yeah? <laughs> but the, the name of the video is called Forget About Sit. Like, forget about it. Okay? Yeah. Right? Because he's Italian kind of corso. But this is what I would, what I would say in that video. Very important. I was taught this at the Canine Academy and it's wrong. And a lot of trainers feel this way and they're they're wrong. But the reality of it is, if every time a dog walks up to you or a stranger, if you ask the dog to sit, that never creates that behavior. What that does is it creates a behavior where the dog is expecting for you to tell them to sit. And if if you don't say it, then they don't do it. They're not going to do it. That's right. So what I'm telling you, what I talk about in that video with Lucci is specifically, I'm at Home Depot with him. And every time somebody would approach us, you know, he's gorgeous. So everybody was like, look at that dog. You know, so beautiful. You know, I'm a trainer. Whenever people would approach him and people ask, may I pet him or can I pet him? I always say yes, but I'm, I was always forcing to sit upon him without telling him. Okay, making him stay seated. Exactly. So same thing. If every time they walk up to you, instead of telling them to sit, even if you think they're going to do it, you, pu- you force them into it, that's going to create that behavior. Yeah. Where they're going to walk up to you and sit. That doesn't mean the dogs still won't be annoying. Like, you know, my own, my own dogs, they'll walk up to you and sit. And you know, to sit all the time, we're putting you sitting, we're putting you sitting, you yeah. know, because they just want attention, yeah? Yeah. But at least they're sitting and they're not jumping up. Correct. Do you Correct. understand what yes. I mean by that? Yes. Yeah. So, again, telling the dog to sit when it approaches you or a stranger doesn't create that behavior. But dropping the word sit in that context, the command rather, and forcing them into the sit and then telling them good sit will. So, and, and I tell you the truth, so this would be being hardcore, and I understand that you can't do it all the time. Mm-hmm. But in a perfect world, Every time they approach one of your children, uh, as often as you can see it and you're around, if the children don't place the dog into a sit physically without telling it, then you do it. Okay. Walk over there and you like you helicopter parent. You walk over there and you push that dog's butt down. And every time they get up, you push that dog's butt down. And if another dog comes over, you go and move that dog out of the way. No, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. I mean, I tell you, this is why trainers excel. Because with me, when they're with me, you can, you, uh, they're not going to be uh, they're not going to be hanging out in my home in my situation unless I'm prepared for it. Right. And when I when I know I don't have the wherewithal to deal with this right now, or I'm going to be on a phone call, so I can't. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. I put the dog up. Put him in kennel. Because if because for right now we need prevention. I tell you the truth. If we could prevent them breaking out into an argument in, for 21 days straight, we're almost there. Okay. Prevention. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. And and again, well, I don't want them in the kennel. I want them out with us. Okay. okay. But guess what? It is better for them to spend eight, nine, ten hours in the kennel during the day. You know, throughout the course of the day, split up when you don't have the alacrity, the wherewithal, or the ability to address 
the pack dynamics because yes. what I'm teaching you are pack dynamics yes. and I the consistency I, therein. I don't know if I am at that place where I can um, control. I can control one. Yeah. I know I can control mm -hmm. two. Controlling three and you know doing the same thing like putting that one in the sit yep. and then this one over here and trying that one and that one gets up like. I, well then guess what the one the the one that is coming to interfere with the petting session yep. needs to get put in the kennel for 10 minutes okay so just or just an hour separate them for a little while and, and work with them one-on-one -on -one doing the same exactly person. and then guess what you have what i call the law of prediction happens they're going to start thinking oh what is the name of your son the youngest one trig yeah what is it trig trig okay yeah. good good trig so let's say that trig is petting one of them and they think oh look Trig is petting Atlas. I better not go over there because if I do, mom's gonna put me in the kennel for 10 minutes. Okay. They're already predicting it. Okay. Let me give you an example, yes? So it doesn't apply here, but it will apply. So the theory, the law of predictability theory is going to apply. So let's say, and I do this a lot with people that have small dogs, especially small dogs who you can't get a bark collar for. If you have a dog that's a nuisance barker, a bark collar is a, a blessing. But otherwise, a lot of times for real small yappy dogs, bark collars are not an option, they're too big. So let's say that I have a dog, yeah? and I, the dog is running loose. The way I solve a dog from not barking, and it typically takes 21 days of hardcore commitment. Whenever the dog barks, I'll come undone. I'll get so happy. I'll look at the dog and I'll say, good kennel up, good kennel up, as if I won the lottery. Mm -hmm. And then I go and I'll pick that dog up and I'll good kennel up, kiss them the entire time that I take them in their kennel and toss them in their kennel, tell them good kennel up and give them a treat, a biscuit or something. Mm -hmm. If every time the dog barks, you look at the dog and you come undone and you happily put them in the crate and reward them, they're going to think that you are interpreting their bark as, hey, I want to get in my kennel. Okay. So again, that doesn't apply here. That particular situation doesn't apply, but that makes the dog very quiet if you do that for 21 days. Oh, the yeah. problem is, listen to what I said, 21 days straight. So, he, so what I'll start doing is eventually the dogs, I can't really get them to bark. So I'll start knocking on the door, ringing my doorbell, going out of my way to get that dog to bark. And the moment that they bark, I'm looking at them like, are you going to make me happy? Are you going to make me happy? Yeah. So they just stay quiet. Okay. Because they're, real, they're using the law of predictability. Damn it, if I bark, he's going to think I'm asking to be put in my kennel. Same thing with this dog. There's no reason why if, if Trig is petting Atlas and one of the sisters is looking, that they don't think, well, if I approach, mom's going to think I'm asking to be kenneled. Okay. You just have to be consistent and do it every time. So positive reinforcement underneath. Uh, good and 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 sit uh, even a force sit yeah and possibly a treat without right. saying the word sit without saying and if a treat is involved you want to say the word w or w you wow yeah so the, the wow is the marker okay. it's Pavlov yeah and, and they, they're already understanding classical conditioning because earlier and you want to try not to say the word t-r-e-a-t yeah. because when you said it earlier this one was licking its lips oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he so was. So that was negative that. Negative reinforcement is any other kind of touching. Exactly. Yes, sir, for now. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's exactly how we're going to do that. So you have positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, and classical conditioning with the word WW in the tree I right after that. I've done some okay. of this by accident because my Dane is deaf. Okay, I had a, I, I had a deaf boxer. And yeah, they I learned a lot from her. To certain there's 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 these yeah. hand commands but maybe that's not yeah. even it yeah maybe no a lot you know with my deaf boxer that's how i started picking yeah. up on the like the good word theory if i would nod my head and she would sit mm -hmm. i started realizing wow well, i don't have to do this i can uh, certain lift things my that nod, the dog yeah. just knows now and I say, exactly I, I swear that she can hear but she can't she just knows exactly so any other questions about this no all right i know you've got to get going awesome thank you all so much for watching especially look at that little model boy since you stuck around until the very end if you haven't already please do subscribe and call the bell so you'll be notified when our next loose training video comes up yes you don't want to miss it atlas <laughs>